Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Polo DiCano and I work on a team for coordinated school health uh, out of the central office for Seattle Public Schools. I'm really excited to um, be talking with you all today about something that I think will help you uh, when things work out well in your life and when things don't work out quite the way you want it. Um, specifically learning from wins and mistakes. So of course it's great when things work out the way we want. When we write a paper and we get a great grade, when we prepare for a test and we get the score that we were hoping for, um, when we're in a competition and the outcome is what we want. Um, we can look at all those instances and think we prepared well, we strategized well, um, or we used some um, problem solving method or plan to get the outcome we wanted. That's awesome. There's also other times where we thought we put a good paper together and we didn't get the grade that we wanted. Or we thought we were prepared for that test <laughs> and it didn't go like we'd hoped. Or when we thought we were well prepared for a competition and um, weren't able to come out on top the way that we had hoped. Um, those instances, they suck. When that happens, um, it can be a real letdown. And it might even take us um, a minute to, to move through that disappointment. But here's the thing. Even when you have big disappointments, you can learn from those mistakes. One of the things that I've learned at this point in my life um, is how important it is to embed ourselves in a process. So I'm gonna share with you a little bit of what I learned um, through my experience toward getting my PhD. So one of the things that you have to do to um, finish your PhD is finish a dissertation. I did my dissertation on the um, how effective was a class on resilience for college kids. Um, just so we're on the same page, Resilience is the experience that we all have when we come into contact with some challenge or adversity and we're able to overcome that challenge or adversity. Or if there's some really intense and extraordinarily bad situation that happens to us um, or that we're confronted with, we're able to get through that without being too badly harmed when it seemed like things were going to go really bad. So first of all, one of the things that I learned was uh, the importance of um, adapting and persevering. And specifically, it took me five times to get the right score to get into a PhD program. So many of you have to take the SAT in your future um, if you pursue a college degree. Uh, I had to take the GRE, the graduate record exam, and didn't get the score I wanted five times. That's okay. What I learned was that I needed to approach it differently and I brought in some additional resources to help me uh, figure out how to do better on that test. And that's the piece I wanna to get to. When we approach our challenges or the things that we do in life, understanding that we're in the middle of a process and our job is to think about trying our hardest and learning from our experience, there's nothing that we can't do. Because even if you're writing a paper, that writing quality is in the middle of a process. How well you wrote before isn't as good as the writing left to come. In math, that is a part of a process. What you know now was built on part of the process from what you learned before. Even talking to people when um, you had a difficult time before. Speeches, delivering speeches, both of those things are part of a process. And when you take into consideration how things went before and put forth your best effort, you'll do better the next time that you try. And that ultimately is how you learn from the wins and the mistakes. You pay attention to what went right you pay attention to what went wrong. You put yourself in the middle of a process. Failure is feedback. 
It is not forever. It's only forever if you quit. So if you come into contact with a time where things didn't work out the way you wanted or a mistake that you made, just remember, you're in the middle of a process. Failure is feedback. You do your best, and you learn from last time, and use it this time, and you'll get where you want to go. Thanks for your time, and take care of yourself.